So, uh, I got a Christmas present this year. Uh, Drunk Stone and Stupid. And, uh, this is actually a lot of fun. Had a couple friends over and we just played it for maybe an hour or two. It, uh, made me reminisce about, like, the superlatives you found in your old yearbook. Fun fact... I wasn't in it at all. But I like the idea of talking about superlatives because there's always a topic you can go on about. So I'd figure I'd play around and just, uh... Use fighting game characters instead of having my friends here. Sure, why not? Let's see how it goes. Alright, so first one we got uh, buys Dino Nuggets. My immediate thought is Riptor or Alex. But I'm gonna have to go with the King of Dinosaurs from uh, King of Fighters 15. Um, Homeboy probably has like a brand deal with Tyson we're not even aware of. Next up, uh, we got, uh, owns a Snuggie. Oh my god, this is easy. There is no way in hell Little Mac does not own a Snuggie. He wears a pink jumpsuit, for crying out loud. I can totally see Little Mac, like, chilling on the couch with a Snuggie on, sipping on some wine, eating some chocolate, watching Down Abbey, and texting Doc, asking how he's doing today. So Snuggie, you definitely, uh, Little Mac. Thinks reality TV shows are real. Oh, Zangief for sure. The dude wrestles with bears for a hobby. I definitely believe he could fall for, like, The Bachelorette was real. Hell, he probably would want to be on this show. I could totally, like, imagine, like, Zangief uh, with his Speedo and, like, a bow tie on. And um, I could see, like, the interview happening. He's like, I will wrestle her heart away from the others. That's, a, oh, wow, what a, what a bad accent. I'm, I'm, sorry, but I'm going with Zangief. Uh, is obsessed with beards. Um, uh, this can probably go in two ways. Um, it can either be someone who's like attracted to someone with beards or it's someone who puts a lot of care and tenderness into their beard. If we're going to go with who just has uh tender care, I, I kind of want to go with G from uh street fighter. Uh, he just, like, he is obviously based off of Abraham Lincoln, which is like the second most famous beard in all of history. And he also has a skin for the most famous beard in history. So I probably would want to go with G. And if we're going with attracted to beards, I would go with either. I would either go with Jackie, Lily, or the collector. All right. Next up, we got always wants to set shit on fire. I mean, there's like so many pyromancers in fighting games, I don't have time to name them all. But the first person that came to my mind was Brian from Tekken. I mean, the guy's kind of a lunatic, and I can definitely see him just setting shit on fire for funsies. I mean, the guy like destroyed a helicopter with a piece of metal. Like, setting something on fire doesn't surprise me at all. Literally can't even. Um, I'm gonna go with Cassie here. Um, Cassie's kind of like the poster girl for like being a millennial and uh netherrealm does a great job making her character so i'm gonna go with cassie for sure risks life for epic self that's cassie as well <laughs> actually i'm just gonna go through all of these and just go through uh which ones are cassie only text and emojis shameless snapchats will only speak to you via text all of these cassie i'm not going through anymore i already found like five of them we're good would be super uncomfortable in a strip club I want to say Piccolo from DBZ Fighter. I know he's not a fighting game character per se, um, but like that's the first character that came to my mind from fighting games. Oh, actually, no, Vegeta. You know, like being the biggest shit talker there ever was. The second you have to like do intimacy or emotion, he's just out of there. This, oh my god, that could be an awesome episode for Team Four Star. Ooh. Is Totes DTF? I don't even know what that means. Oh, um, I don't know if there's a character that fits this well, um, I guess, like, Geralt, I mean, I, I, he's one of the only characters I know actually has a scene where he does intimacy, so, I, oh, well, I guess Morgan, I mean, a succubus, that's literally what a succubus does, like, like, literally kills you while having sex. That's what a succubus is. So I guess Morgan is the only one that really makes sense, And but there's no lore that Morgan has done it that I know of. Has that happened? I'm not going to talk about this anymore. 
is low key down to hunt a rhinoceros. <laughs> when I think of low key, this is not someone who would actually be good at hunting. This is someone who just would do it for the spur and the excitement of it. And uh, thinking of that, I, I kind of want to say Ken Masters. <laughs> I don't know why I think Ken would be totally willing to be like, yeah, bro, let's do this. High five. Click. I totally see Ken going to do this in a heartbeat. I also feel like this would be a good like story arc for Ken. And then Ryu finds out that he's doing it and just completely disapproves of it. I think that'd be super funny. Still has a beanie baby collection. I got nothing here. Blanca? I don't know. Maybe because someone made one of him. I, don't, I got nothing on this one. Probably owns a sex toy. Um, Is it confirmed that Ivy is a dominatrix? Like, is that confirmed? Like, I know she dresses like one, but is it confirmed? Like, I would say yes, she would have one just because it's in her trade. If that was, if she is a dominatrix, that would make sense. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go with Ivy. Uh, bare minimum, she has a whip. Leaves drunk friend on street. That's a that's a bad friend. Um, but definitely could see this happening. One of the laws in Paul uh, from Tekken, I could totally see this happening. E either in any fashion, Forrest to Paul, Paul to Forrest, Marshall to Paul, Paul to Marshall, and any or even the father and son, I could see it happening. Um, I this I could totally see this happening with them. And lastly, the last one I'm going to do for the evening is is mentally undressing you right now. No one wants to see that. And that's it. Comment below with any superlatives you'd like me to go over in the future. If I get enough hits, maybe I'll do another video. For those who don't know, I stream on Twitch every Sunday. You can come and hang out. You can find the page in the links below along with the rest of my social media tags. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. My name is Phil, and of course, I'll talk to you guys soon.